Charles Simic once said, poetry is an orphan silence. The words never quite equal the experience behind them. Hello, my name is Umar McNee. I'm a freshman broadcast journalist from North Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I'm going to talk about what is spoken word. Spoken word poetry is basically poetry spoken out loud, but today I'm gonna to dive a little deeper and tell you exactly where it came from. Spoken word has been developed with three major points in history. The 1950s Beats era, the 1990s poetry movement, and the creation of the poetry slam. Spoken word is relatable to everyone because everyone can tell their specific story. For example, where are you from? Jersey. Jersey, and where are you from? California. California, we have Jersey and California. Right since we were born, our stories have been different. I'm a credible source because I've been doing spoken word for about 40 years and I have worked and been involved with some of the best spoken word artists in the nation. So, even though spoken words spread across the nation, it all started with beat poetry. Beat poets gained the name of the rebel poets of the 1950s. I saw the best minds of my generation, destroyed by madness. Starving hysterical, naked, Dragging themselves through the Negro streets at dawn, looking for an angry fix. Angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo of the machinery of night. This was howled by Allen Ginsberg. Allen Ginsberg was a beat poet. Like most of the other beat poets, they questioned mainstream politics and incorporated a lot of Buddhism into their poetry. They went against the norm. This new style of poetry was rhythmic and unstructured, not caring if they didn't fit the normal poetry structure. They had something to say, regardless if they offended anyone. Even though there are still beat poetry undertones in today's modern spoken word, spoken word became recognized in the 1990s. The 1990s poetry movement caused spoken word to be exposed to urban influences, which allowed it to become popular to minorities. In 1990s poetry movement, this changed the label from beat poetry to spoken word. Lemon Anderson had one of the greatest impacts on spoken word during this time. He was born in Brooklyn, half Puerto Rican, and had drug addicted parents who died of AIDS. He used spoken word to tell his story. But she can look on your sheet, and on the sheet it has Lemon Anderson, the County of Kings. And here's an expert of this piece. Um, my last point, um, poetry slams. Poetry slams are a big part of allowing spoken word artists to compete and to share their personal stories. Poetry slams are the competition aspect of spoken word. It is when poets compete with their poems and are judged by randomly selected judges from the audience by their performance. Poetry slams were created by construction worker Mark Smith. He wanted to bring life to his open mic format. People from all aspects of life come and indulge in these slams so they can share their story. From the Caucasian male beat poets of the 1950s to the Puerto Rican youth of the 1990s, spoken word has been shared through open mics, poetry slams, and everything in between. Spoken word is relatable because everyone can tell their story. Spoken word is a way for you to have a voice. So look at the bottom of your sheets. What is your story? Never think you are too ordinary to tell it. I encourage everyone to write their own piece and to tell their story. Thank you.